the other day try to pull this gear off of it right here uh, applied some heat to it tried tapping it off wouldn't move grabbed a gear puller wouldn't move applied more heat to it with the gear puller wouldn't move so dunked it back into the shower right here uh, right now it's roughly 10 o'clock Sunday afternoon the 28th and let this sit for I don't know however many hours maybe until tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon uh, being it's a work day tomorrow, maybe it'll sit all through tonight and through the work day of tomorrow. Uh, get home tomorrow night and see what we can do with it. After sitting in the Vapo Rust shower for roughly eight hours or so, tried yanking that gear off again and nothing. Uh, tried heating it up and then trying to pull it off with the gear puller and nothing. So try to change up the scenario here, trying to dunk it down in there as much as possible. Uh, got a hose running on the back side of the gear. Uh, this Evapo Rust, this particular solution, uh, started off with two gallons, and I picked up a third gallon. Uh, I've been using that since Friday. Uh, right now it's Sunday night, 6.30ish. So you're looking at well over 48 hours of this Evapo Rust flowing through things. Uh, on the website it says it's reusable uh, up until it turns black, which is about the state that it's at right now. Uh, right now it's 6.30, Sunday night. I'm going to let this go all night long, all through Monday afternoon, and I'll check back, well, right around this time tomorrow uh, tomorrow night, Sunday night, or excuse me, Monday night, uh, probably around 3.34ish, uh, and see what we can do with this gear. Uh, after that, I'm going to try to filter out this stuff, the vapor rust, see if I can reuse it, see if I can get it cleaned up some. Uh, if not, then maybe I'll go out and buy two more gallons of it and see what we can do with it. So this is where that gear sits right now. The one end of it on the shaft, as you can see on the left side right there, it's just about completely submerged. The back side of it, it's uh, it's got the fl it's flowing on to there. So hopefully this is going to do something with that. This gear is really on there. Uh, the top part's clean enough that you can actually see the key in there, but it's still not going anywhere. Here's a shot of that gear sitting in the Evapo Rust for roughly two and a half days. It's Tuesday right around 5.50ish. Uh, when I first put this in there, Sunday afternoon, the Evapo Rust was pretty much up around the top of the shaft right here, and now it's below the shaft. Uh, before it was rather dark, the Evapo Rust itself, now it's just about black. Um, this stuff has to be pretty much spent. It's been being used and cycled through for many days. Uh, I'm going to rip all this apart right now, clean it all up, see if I can pull that gear off of there and see what happens. As you can see I got the ratcheting gear off of there. Uh, put the bar puller or put the gear excuse me the gear puller back on there. Started wrenching away at it. Didn't seem like it was really going anywhere. Held it under some tension and then on the back side of it, the gear was sitting on there like this. On the back side of it you can see the little tapping with the three pound hammer and it slowly started breaking itself loose. Twisted it right off. I uh, brought it over to the sink under hot water. Hit it with a wire brush. Uh, it still needs some work, but as you can see, it's pretty much well beat up. Uh, this chip right there, that was before I got my hands onto it. Uh, there's some war marks on there. There's another edge of it that's chipped off of there. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do about it. Uh, possibly make another one. And, or put it back together and just see how this is going to work. Not quite sure. The wear on it is kind of a little bit of a bother. I don't know if we can get a good shot of it. Some of, them, but some of the teeth are worn pretty good. But at least we're getting everything apart here and seeing what I got to work with. Uh, only thing left now is to get the quill or the ram out of there. And the pinion and uh, shaft that that's mounted onto or that's made onto out of there. Uh, just grab two more gallons of the Evapo Rust. Uh, I'll clean out the bath right there and go back to town.